Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm continuing my work on my unrepaired Ender 3 Max Neo. So let's go ahead and get started. One of my goals with this printer is to install a stealth burner with the Clockwork 2 mod, and then also install some can stuff and some different things. But part of that, in order to mount the stealth burner, I've decided to convert the X axis to a linear rail. So today I'm just going to do a real quick video on changing out the rollers that are there and just putting in this new linear rail that I got off Amazon. Let's switch over to the printer and we'll take a look. So I've moved my Z axis into a comfortable position for me so it makes it easier for me to work. First thing I'm going to do is just turn everything off. I want power off because I'm going to have to disconnect everything here. And I'm unplugging it. I'm just going to take a quick look here at what I need to do. Now it's looking like I'm going to take the assembly off. If I remember correctly, this is a pain in the butt snap off. And it feels like it's almost feels like a break it, which I very well may be. I'm just going to wrestle this off. Well, wait, before I pause, let's just do this. Let's undo, and let's get the CR touch, because the CR touch I definitely need to save. Everything else here, I'm sort of okay with losing or breaking, and that means the hot end and the uh, carriage there, so I don't need those. Um, I also am not going to wind up needing the wiring of the hot end, so again, those are bits that I probably don't need, but I am going to use the CR Touch. Now I went and found the mount that works for the CR Touch on the Stealth Burner. So let's put my screws aside and put the CR Touch aside. And let's look at this again. I'm basically going to see if I can pry this off here. Now it turns out, just so you know, there's a screw right behind the carriage here that's holding the hot end plate on. Now, let's go ahead and get these screws out for the fans. I don't think I'm going to keep anything here, but for right now, let's not be hasty and, and get rid of stuff that again I might be able to reuse. I'm going to find a case here for just the hot end. That way, again, in case I need that in the future, I do occasionally buy these printers. Like I got this printer off eBay broken, and so I'd rather have the spare parts just in case I could use them in the future. So let me go find a container and I'll put these in there. So I found my container. Like I said, I just try to keep everything for right now. You want to make sure. Everything's unplugged because I am messing with these wires here. I'm just putting everything right into my spare parts bin. Let's see if I can get this Bowden tube out. And of course, I forgot there's a small piece of filament already here. Bowden tube is pretty well jacked in here. I'm not going to be able to get it out. So I'm not going to keep this hot end. Let me just cut it and we'll throw it away. Then if the Bowden tube's not right, I'm not sure how it's sitting in the hot end. And in the future, that might just cause me problems. Like I said, I just don't care. So I'm just going to throw that away. Now I have the wires here. I'll need to get rid of those. Let's get, let's get this out of the way first. Get this all unscrewed. As I said, I just bought a cheap linear rail off Amazon. There, you definitely can get more expensive stuff, but I looked for something that had a, a decent rating. And if I'm being honest, I prefer linear rail anyway, except there is an added expense there associated with that. I'm just taking off the wheels and the carriage here. And I'll probably need to take off. Oh, let's just take a look at this. And if you look at the wheel here, 
I'm actually noticing some of the wear isn't particularly straight. So switching out is probably not a bad idea. And probably have to take off this top one too. Now this is a pretty easy change here. Now something I'm going to point out on some of the Ender models sort of drives me nuts. Some of these have a flat face here. And if they have a flat face trying to put in, you're not going to be able to put in a linear rail, not on that face. Now, in my case, I, this one, I don't have that issue. And let me cut this wire too. I can always replace that. As much slack here as I can on this plane. Cut it. Now I just need to undo these wires and I'll actually have to unplug those on the board. But for right now, I'm not going to worry about that too much. I'll come back to do that. Let me put my spare parts to the side and then we'll keep going. Now I just start off with my linear rail and I just give it a rub down with my microfiber rag, get off some of the grease. I'm going to check to make sure that the carriage feels like it slides really well. That's good. And right here, there's a little hole on the carriage where I could put in some oil. And so I'll probably do that once it's mounted and then slide it back and forth. Now, just to verify. This looks like it fits. That's messing with my end stop down here, and I'll have to move that. That's okay for right now. Why well, I said this a little tight, probably tighter than I want it. That's okay. Like I said, we'll move this. So let's look at how this is mounted. It looks like it's mounted through the motor here. So I'll we'll have to take this motor off and take this housing off. And I'll probably need to print a replacement here, which that's okay as well. I've done that in the past. Let's mess with this and we'll get this off. Screws are actually under this sticker. Let me peel that off. There we go. So now the stickers are actually on the front side. I thought I was actually have to go and take off the motor. And let's get these off. And I'll have to move this end stop here, but that's that's sort of okay. We'll figure that out. Let me put my screws aside and I'll take out the end stop here. I'll unplug that. Then we're going back to so go right like this. And so let me get my screws out and my T nuts, and then I'll show you how I'm going to install this. So in order to secure the linear rail. I'm going to use M38 uh, nuts, and then I have some T nuts here. So, in order to do this, I'm just going to start with putting a nut in and then putting the T nut here. So, I'm going to add the T nuts very loosely. Apologize for the camera shaking. One of the dogs just came in and had to see me. So let me put these screws in and then we'll come back. Okay, so as you can see, I have my T-nuts in. Now I did take out the uh, thing blocking the carriage from moving off the rail, so I need to be careful. I'm just gonna seat the rail in. And I'm pushing it all the way against the tensioner. And I'm gonna tighten both ends so that they grab that time. So now I want to do this end. Like I said, I'm only doing every other screw. So I need to be careful with all these. I just want to make sure again, they grab in there. This is sliding appropriately. I want to weave the uh, holder on the end here. So the rail, the carriage doesn't come off. Right now, that's my install. So what this is going to allow me to do is now mount the 
stealth burner here. And I just need to find where I put, so I have the stealth burner, and let me switch this around. It's going to go something like this. That amount there holding on the carriage. I need to get some heated inserts in here, but that's the long and the short of it. So that's good. So now we're going to start with the next phase, which is putting on the stealth burner. So I'm going to pause and I'll switch to a new video. Thanks. Have a good day. Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3DP and I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15 minute help session with me and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I want to thank you again for joining me and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.